What's up guys, Montanique here from the Edquist team. Um, got something exciting to share with you today. I'm just gonna dive right in, quick video here uh, on a GPT I built uh, regarding the audits of Google Shopping feeds. If you run Google Shopping, you know how important it is to get your product feed right and it can be very time consuming. One of the most time consuming things in the world of PPC is making sure your product feed is perfect, perfect, up to date. Uh, with all the required fields, all the optional fields, as much data as you can think of, uh, so the system can optimize towards uh, towards the best results possible. Uh, so what I did here was I built like a custom GPT, uh, and it learned on all of Google's support data uh, and also our internal documents we use uh, to audit product feeds. Uh, quick example here: uh, so I have all the fields here which are required, which are optional. Uh, also with an explanation uh, and in another file uh, I'm not gonna walk through but that like pretty boring file with all the fields and all the URLs in it etc um, so ChatGPT can learn from that and then come back with tailored uh, tailored requirements for us um, so what I'm gonna do in this video I'm just gonna walk you through a few chats I had and a few opportunities that we see with uh, with this um, I hope you guys will enjoy it uh, just, uh, just uh, make sure, make sure to, to fully watch this video. Um, so a few of the possibilities is like, hey, uh, check if my product feed has any missing attributes, uh, are all the required ones there, all the optional ones there, and if so, what's their status, and do you see like any any particular improvements there? Um, I have, for example, which improvements can I make to my titles? We have a few examples in a bit. Also goes for descriptions, whatever field you can think of. Um, how can I optimize it for better performance? Um, that's like a bit vague, <laughs> but uh, then it starts looking at, hey, how relevant are your descriptions? How tailored are they? Uh, so audit the field, make sure if all the fields are there, then decide on possible improvements per field, then you get like a huge table and a huge outcome. Uh, so it might be better for, for some of us to segment it a bit. Um, so hey, let's say provide detailed feedback for the description. Um, hey, I can imagine there are all sorts of other things you can think of as well. Um, I had a few errors when checking if all the landing pages were accessible, but that could be things that are possible in the future, guys. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through some examples here, and I'll also provide the link for you uh, for you guys, of course. Uh, so what I did here, I'm just going to quickly quickly run through this uh, a few minutes uh, a few minute video. Um, so what I did, I just started with this random, hey, what improvements can I make to my product titles? A super generic, just to see yeah, if it would follow the, the, the logic it should. And then it says like, yeah, of course, so this is what you can do to your titles. You should always include brand, attribute, product type, variants, whatever. Uh, that kind of makes sense. Uh, length optimization. Uh, <laughs> watch out with stuff like this because it can get you banned. Uh, sorry, banned. Uh, uh, it can get your merchant center disapproved. Um, it just took like a random example here, like, hey, some advertisers have wireless headphones. You should really do it like this. So you should have the brand in there, the model, um, a few attributes like wireless, noise cancelling, headphones with the color uh, at, uh, at the end of it. Um, use automation, obviously. Uh, I like to use Chenable for this. For my feeds, um, uh, it allows for very easy use of rules and uh, all sorts of optimizations that you can think of. Okay, so uh, allow me to optimize, uh, sorry to upload a file here. Yeah, obviously, so I had a huge file here with about 2,500 products, um, fully optimized just to see what it would come up with. Um, so it says, okay, first off, I'm gonna check missing required and optional fields. Um, that makes sense because it's uh, one, of the, one of the first things to check. And then I'm gonna get back to your initial question regarding title optimizations. Um, then it was a CSV, so it had like the, the G and the dot before the, the, the field names. Then it says, hey, I can understand that, no problem. Okay, then here we have some of them with recommendations. I'm not going to run through them exactly because it would allow you guys to see who the advertiser is, um, which I obviously, uh, wi which we're obviously not going to do. <coughs> um, so overall, in general, it says, hey, all required fields are there. I have like an optional field that's missing a pattern. Yeah, don't really care. Um, nice to have, not uh, not uh, mandatory or required. Um, I noticed that sometimes you would have to ask like, hey, are all the fields really there or are some of them missing? Um, 
I think it will get better over uh, over time. Uh, so it has like a few recommendations here to say add your brand, add your product type, add your attributes, and all that stuff. Um, I'm just gonna quickly scroll through here. Uh, so it has like a few. It identified a few improvements. Um, then it says like, hey, <laughs> those improvements were nice, but the titles were kind of okay. So the recommendations were nearly equal to the actual titles. Um, so then I said like, hey, okay, let's just watch, uh, let's just check out the descriptions then. Um, so then it first says like, hey, there are a few things you need to keep in mind, like uh, highlight your key attributes, uh, make sure you structure them in a consistent way and that you have like all the, all the okay variables in there. Front load critical information. Um, all of this, uh, besides the actual output, is already valuable information um, and stuff that you should really know. Um, so obviously, it then says, "Hey, uh, take five descriptions." Um, so then it came up with like a few opportunities that it found throughout the throughout the product feed, which were actually true. Um, so there were no descriptions in my feed which had the color the size and the material um, so that was like a huge thing for me uh, because i thought this product feed was finished um, so i immediately went and uh, and put that in um, so that's really useful uh, only that uh, with a few minutes of prompting is already like a, a huge valuable thing for you to improve your uh, your product feed on uh, then it says like hey i still see some other missing fields that's weird because initially it says like hey you're only missing pattern um, so then I said like hey just <laughs> remember this for for future prompts uh, as well of course um, so I had a short title uh, I would probably make all of this in my feed management tool um, and most of them aren't really relevant for this advertiser um, so I'm not gonna go all in on, on those fields here um, but this is just to show you that with a few minutes of prompting, you really don't need to be an expert here. You can already find improvements in your product field. In your product feed, sorry. Um, so then, so say most of them are here. Uh, you have some key opportunities here, like a product highlight. That's like actually, actually kind of valuable and actually might be worth a try here. Um, so I can use this to generate uh, product highlights um, and then insert those in my uh, in my product feed. Um, these are really just some simple use case guys just to give you guys like a quick heads up and a quick demo of what's possible make sure to check this out um, try it for yourself I'll provide you guys with the link um, happy advertising um, and if you need anything us from the AdQuiz team uh, we're here to help you improve your results in Google Ads um, so if you need anything regarding Google Ads if you need like an audit like a quick check um, contact us um, and we'll make sure to uh, to improve those results, guys.